This is unbelievable. <laughs> a supermodel in studio. Hi. Hello. I talk to a lot of, you know, testosterone filled men. A lot of dudes. There's a lot, a lot of dudes. Yes, a yeah. lot of dudes. This so this must is, be a breath of fresh air. This is a bit of a breath of fresh air. Yes. <laughs> and a lot of people were like, well, why new octagon girl? Right. They were right. wondering, why are you here? See, I don't like that. I don't like the yeah. immediate yeah. stereotype that people think, oh, okay, she's going to be a UFC ring girl. Right? Why is that? Why do you think that is? Um, I think my whole life and my whole career has been somewhat of a don't judge a book by its cover mm -hmm. thing. And I, I live by that rule. So, um, I get judged very quickly. There's obviously. a lot to talk to you about. I'm, I'm actually fascinated by your story, um, and learning about you and, and you've been on the radar because you've actually been mentioned on this show before. I have. Yes. And, uh, we will get to that in a second, Okay. <laughs> but you are someone who is closely tied to martial arts. You actually just fought in a Muay Thai fight. Correct. In Thailand. Yes. Which is incredible. That Was that pro or amateur, by the pro. way? That was pro. Wow. Yeah, that was my pro debut, yeah. Had you ever had an amateur fight before? No. Wow. I'm very much that, I'm very zero or a hundred. Okay. You know? So I, I didn't, I just, I thought that I could do it. Wow. Um, so I went straight in and. What was your first introduction to martial arts? Uh, well, I mean, obviously I grew up in Hong Kong. Okay. Um, so it's huge. Even the cinema, the whole culture um, is huge and I always kind of wanted to do martial arts movies and oh, wow. things like that. And um, I never learned. And actually only about four years ago, I was in, I go to Thailand a lot. My family have a house in Thailand. And uh, I was driving past a local gym on the side of the road where the little Thai boys would get groomed to become yeah, fighters. Yeah, yeah. And I just pulled over my car and I was like, can I try? Wow. Um, and that was the beginning. And so you walk in there with no experience. You've never fought yeah. before. You've never trained martial arts. Yeah. You've been interested in it. Yeah. When you walk in there, how do they react? Because I'm assuming a lot of the people don't look like you. Right. Well, I mean, everybody just assumed that that I wanted to do it for fitness, okay. which is actually honestly the truth in the beginning. Okay. Um, and then particularly with Mai Tai, I was so drawn to how beautiful it is and how technical it is. And, and um, I thought it was amazing to watch. So I started to get really into the technique and I wanted to perfect the technique. And then, um, you know, when I got to a certain level, I was like, all right, sparring. And then, you know... Like I said, I'm not one of those people who does things a little yeah, yeah. bit. I, I always kind of knew that I was going to have a fight at some point um, and take it all the way. Sometimes when someone walks into a gym and they're maybe vulnerable or they don't you know, know a lot of what they're doing, you are kind of tested by the coaches right. or the right. other people there. And especially right. if you're, you're someone who's maybe famous or good looking or something, they'll try to like, oh, what's this person really all about? Did you get that? Like, did you have to go through almost an initiation process there? A hundred percent. And actually, I think in my gym in Thailand, this fight was my initiation. Oh, interesting. Process. So four years later. Yeah. Even okay. until I don't think I was ever taken seriously as a fighter, probably until about fight week. Really? Um my trainers, I mean, it's also Thailand. I mean, you know, my trainers are like, really? Are you sure you're going to fight? Really? No, don't fight, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, until everyone kind of realized this is really happening, she hasn't backed down yet. Wow. All right, let's take Is it weird time. that your coaches, like the people who are literally supposed to be in your corner, still don't believe that you're actually going to do this at that point? No, because it's Thailand and that's how they are. Okay. It's, kind of, it's that, that tough love kind of thing, you know? Yeah. Like you'll never get a pat on the back. You'll never get told that you're done well. It's just the culture. It's the, it's... There's no positive reinforcement, nothing? Not really, no. Really? Yeah. That's tough for a student, right? Like, don't um, you want to know that you're getting better? Yeah, you do. <laughs> so who do you rely on to tell you that? Um, well, sparring partners, okay. you know, other fighters there. You you know, you, you're you with each other for five hours a day. You, you, you know, you can get your positive reinforcement elsewhere. So it's one thing to go into a gym for fitness. How right. does that shift to actually wanting to fight? When does that shift? Um, for me, actually, it was when I was watching fights. And I remember that moment when I was watching a Thai fight in a local Thai stadium and I was watching two girls fight. And I looked at my trainer and I was like, I can do this. I want to do this. And he was like, all right, then that's, that's step one. You know, the fact that you want to, right, right. you're halfway there. So he was like, all right, let's do this. How soon after your initial introduction to the gym did um, that occur? About training on like, you know, kind of like a pro level. It was about six months in Okay. when I felt like I had the confidence and I had the ability. I was like, I can do this. So it took you three and a half years though to actually fight afterwards. Yeah. Why so long? No, 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 no. Uh, 
I I mean, I trained like here and there, kind of like half assed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'd say for the last year, I've been training like okay. on a higher level. Was that something that you felt like you needed to do, or did they say, we're only going to let you fight when we think that you're ready to fight? And it took a year for you to get ready. No, it was up to me. It okay. was when I said I was ready. Okay. Yeah. And so at one point you felt like you were ready. Yes. And then I remember I went to my agency. Oh no. And then a, um, a promoter came, he comes by the gyms to see who's fighting, whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. To, you know, to match make. And he was like, do you want to fight? And I was like, really, you think I can? And he was like, yeah, I think you can. Um, and then I remember going to my agency and being like, guys, I want to have Guess a fight. What? Yeah. And they were like, absolutely not. No, you have Sports Illustrated red carpet in two weeks. You can't have a fight. So then, then it was a matter of timing. Okay. Right. Then it was balancing what I do with what I love to do and finding enough time to, you know, get into fight camp and train for the fight adequately and then fight and then recovery time. And, right. You so you actually wanted to fight sooner? Yes, a lot sooner. Okay. Were you pissed at your agency when they said no? No. I mean, I understand. Okay. No. Gonna... They probably didn't want you to fight, period, I would imagine. Actually, oh. I'm lucky they were very supportive because they, they also saw that this was what, because I, I mean, I don't know if you follow my story, but I actually, I wasn't in a very good place at one point. I've been through a lot with my modeling career. I've been a model for 15 years. Um, and I actually went to Thailand yep. as like an escape. I was like, I need some time out. Went to Thailand for an escape. And I actually ended up a 10 day vacation ended up with me moving into a Thai training camp and staying there for <laughs> nine months. Wow. So, um, in a way, Muay Thai really helped me sort my life out, get over a whole bunch of issues that I was going through at the time. It brought me sanity and peace of mind. And weirdly enough, it's like a great balance with what I do. Like what I do is I live in an extremely egotistical, narcissistic world where mm -hmm. I spend so much of my time thinking about how I look and getting criticized about how I look and, and judged. And Muay Thai I found was the complete opposite of that. And that goes with all combat sports, I think. I think when you step into a ring, you have to entirely leave your ego aside. You know, you can get your ass thrown around and get your ass handed to you all and, and you stand up and you shake your opponent's hand and you say, you know, thank you. You're mm -hmm. you're better than me. Thank you. I learned a lot. And that was the perfect balance for me, you know, to to not have any ego at all. So I think my agency definitely saw that and, and clients definitely saw that. And I'm so lucky that everybody supported what I do. Why were you in a bad place? What was going on? Um, I mean, I've, uh, listen, I've been judged on my appearance day in and day out since the age of 13. I've been through every eating disorder, body dysmorphic disorder on the planet that you could ever imagine. I mean, anorexia, bulimia, addiction to diuretics, laxatives, uh, anything, you name it, full, fully body dysmorphic. I would look in, in the mirror and see a fat person. I, I grew up obese um, and overweight and bullied. I halved my weight. So I've, I've lived on both extremes. I've wow. been a size 14. I've been a size zero. Um, and just day in and day out and feeling guilty every time you eat something and being criticized on every tiny part of your body. And I, I just had enough and I moved to New York and, um, you know, I, I thought I was doing well and, and I have amazing clients like sports illustrated and, and I was, I just kept, it was just too much. I just, I had too much. And, uh, I was being asked ridiculous things, uh, you know, to go on like 10 day liquid only diets before shoots mm. and things like that, that I was just so unhealthy and I just wanted to go to Thailand and be in the sun and, you know, and yeah, Muay Thai and living in a, in a training camp and going through all that. I mean, it taught me to respect my body. It taught, it brought me out of everything that I was going through, even basic things like eating three meals a day, you know, that, that I learned how to do that. And um, you know, I found strength in my body that I never knew I had. I saw things in my body that, you know, like I, I had a six pack at one point. Never in my life did I ever think that I was going to have a six pack. Like it really gave me my self-confidence and really like helped me rid of a lot of insecurities that were weighing me down my whole life. Wow. Yeah. Do you almost wish you found this earlier? Like things would have been easier? A hundred percent. Like as a teenager? A hundred percent. Really? Yeah. 
Definitely. It's interesting to hear you say that because I actually was talking to my wife about this. We have uh, three children and one's five. And I feel like at times he could use this. And I said, I didn't grow up doing martial arts, but I said, I'd like to put him in jujitsu or something like that. Cause I mm-hmm. feel like he would have more confidence. He would be more sure of himself. For sure. And yeah. so, and it's also that, you know, when you step in front of an opponent, you have to have 100% self-confidence, mm-hmm. not 99. If you have 99 you're probably going to lose that fight. You you need to believe in yourself. And I think that in itself is such a great lesson for people, kids, especially adolescents, teenagers, young girls to to know. I mean, it, it helped me so much as a grown ass adult, you know? Mm. And um, there's, yeah, there's something really beautiful to martial arts. You skipped over a little part there as far as your story is concerned. And I see it or I hear it coming out when you speak. You spent some time in London. Yes. Right. Yeah. So the English accent comes out a little bit. Uh, <laughs> a little bit, yeah. With certain words. Well, I'm half English and uh, I lived in London for about seven, six, seven years. I actually went initially for from, from modeling and then I stayed to do all my education. Yeah. And it's like um, intense education, like a smart lot of stuff. It. Yes. What was I am it? a nerd. It's an amazing thing. <laughs> yeah. Many layers to you. Yes. What did you What did you study? Um, so I have a degree in philosophy and uh, in economics and a master's degree in finance and financial law. That's insane. Yeah. And, and you, I actually, for a while, I retired right. as a model and I went into the financial world and I worked as a commodities trader and, and then I quit that and went to work as a derivatives consultant. I don't um, even know what that means. Derivatives <laughs> consultant. It's all right. Yeah, it's fine. Wow. <laughs> do you have a mortgage? I feel like that's the only I thing that I think about mortgage, when I think no. of that stuff. That has nothing to do with mortgages, no, right? Nothing, no, no. no. Yeah. See, I have no idea what you're talking about. Do you miss that world at all? Um, I mean, there's certain parts of it that I do miss. What could you possibly at times? miss? Well, weirdly enough, sometimes I really miss the uh, the the schedule, the routine. The structure? Yeah. Okay. You wake up, you do this, because my life has no routine and no structure yeah. whatsoever. Even in terms of my training, I train at different times on different days and and I kind of miss that a little bit at times. Okay. Um, I also miss using my brain in that sense. Okay. Um, yeah. In that way. But then again, I learned that that's up to me in my free time as well. You know, I can enter the business world if I want to. I sure. Can. You always have that in your back pocket. Yes, exactly. Do you the get best, paid more to best, model than do that? If you don't mind me asking. Yes. <laughs> yeah. so you made the right call. I did, yeah. Did you get paid for your fight? I did, yeah. What's that? Do you mind if I ask? What's the purse for that kind no, of No, I mean, it's Thailand. It's oh, like, it's like six bucks? <laughs> I mean, it's uh, it's not much. Okay. O- I mean, over here, but yeah. You didn't do it for the money? Absolutely not. Right. No. And I initially, actually, I did it when I set that moment when I was like, I want to fight. I actually, in my head, I was like, this is a bucket list thing. Mm. I just want to kind of have it and, you know, take that list. I just want to do it. And the other thing is about Muay Thai is not, it's not like jujitsu or karate where you get belts and you know what level you are, you know? The only way to test your ability is to fight. So I also wanted to challenge myself and see how good I was. You know, maybe I live in a world where I think I'm really good and actually I'm terrible. Um, So, yeah. Taking... Taking, no, no, because I, I was asking you about the pay and everything right. like that. But taking a step back, so when you decide that you're actually going to fight, do you then go live in Thailand for the entire training camp or do you come back and do you have a team here and a team there? Are they in unison? How does that work? Um, I train. I do train here Okay. and I train there. But when I decided I wanted to take a fight, I roughly set a date and then I calculated four weeks before to be in Thailand to train okay. because it's also like adjusting to the heat and yeah. you know the amount of hours that you train. Training out there is a whole other level to, you can't mimic that. Sure. Anywhere else in the world, you cannot mimic that. So I was training out here for, you know, a good six weeks. Who do you train with here? Um, here in New York, I train with Phil Nurse. Oh, of course. Um, and a then legend, crew Phil Nurse. Crew. To be exact. You're correct. Yes. yes. <laughs> crew Phil Nurse. Sorry, Phil. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I trained with him and then I was training at the time with Hollywood Hino at Church Street Boxing. Yep. I, I knew that that was my weakness. Okay. Um, and I knew that sparring and I, I could never land solid punches and that was my real, so I wanted to strengthen my boxing. So kicking would be your um, strength? Yes, and I'm tall. Don't yes, you know, so yes. That's my, yes. yeah. <laughs> we actually have a video um, oh, we God. could play it of you kicking. I don't know if we could pull <laughs> that up while we're talking about Do it, but you? it's it's very impressive. Uh, they'll pull it up here in a second as we talk. So 
Phil Nurse, was he? Oh, there it is. There's Sanchai. Yes, who's Sanchai? Which really? one? Really? Are you really asking me? I don't know. You really don't know who Sanchai is? I'm I'm supposed to play dumb when I do an oh, interview, right? Oh, right, got it. Sanchai the, is the one on the right. I'm the one on the left, just okay. to make that clear. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Sanchai is my favorite fighter Boom. on the planet. Okay. Um, I whooped his ass there. I'm not yeah. sure if you saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and... I think the definitely the greatest tie fighter alive in the history right of now. okay. Um and I would go so far as saying the greatest fighter on the planet. So does he train out of the same gym? Yes, he trained that's at Yokao in Bangkok and he trains there and fights out of Yokao and I was lucky enough to train there and train with him um before my fight and Wow. Yeah. What a treat. I know. I know I'm very lucky and I don't fangirl and freak out very often, yeah. but I most definitely did with him in the beginning. I was, uh, you know, I was like, I was on the bag and, and he was standing watching me and I was like, okay, do Muay Thai. Like, just come on, do something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then when he wanted to spar and I, I panicked and uh, yeah, it did was- Did you actually spar? Well, we, yeah, we, we did a little bit, but okay. it was, uh, I was a ball of nerves. He's amazing. He's phenomenal. He's, I truly believe he's not human. He's something else. How, how do you communicate? Does he speak English? He does. Okay. Yeah, and speaking. do all the coaches speak English? Um, yeah. To, okay. To a certain degree. Yeah. Okay. Just enough. Yeah. I mean, some are better than others, sure, but sure. I mean, they, in Bangkok, you get enough tourists and stuff rolling through that. So, they, so once you start training and then we're approaching the fight, is there any point where you're like, this is ridiculous, this is crazy, I shouldn't be doing this? Five minutes before the fight when I was backstage, um, you know, all ready to go, um, gloves on and everything, and I turned around to my trainers and my corner men and I was like, what am I doing? Why... Why do I do this for fun? It's different if it's, you know, how you make your bread and butter and that's your career. It's yeah, yeah. different. This is my hobby. What am I doing? And I had a full moment where I was like, why am I not knitting or doing like crochet? <laughs> like, why am I about to go into a ring? And what, where? And then I sat with them and I, with a couple of the other fighters who fight out in my gym and I was like, we're crazy. There's something wrong with us. Like, yeah. This is our, you know, and everyone was saying, have fun. That was the advice they were yeah, giving yeah. me. Go into the ring, have fun. I was like, but it was fun. Have you ever been that nervous about anything in your life? Modeling, work, um, school? Listen, the, the, that being in front of people and the crowd, and it was a sold out stadium wow. because they did ad advertise that it was going to be me. Were you the main event? Yes. Wow. I was, yeah. I know. And you, you know what I'm saying? Pro debut main event. I, yeah, it's a lot of pressure. It's pressure enough yes, yes. to fight. It's a lot of pressure then to be the main event on your first fight. First fight's a pro debut. Yep, yep. You're in Thailand. You know what I mean? They, they, the, the audience have watched four excellent high quality Muay Thai fights yeah, yeah. before me. Um, plus the entire thing was being filmed by a documentary by Sports Illustrated. Oh, wow. So I had a camera crew following me around for fight week, 24 hours a day. Additional... I'm sure that was a blast. Yes. <laughs> um, so it was a lot to deal with. I wouldn't change a thing. I think it was a great experience. I learned so much about myself and, you know, dealing with that emotions. And I truly believe, and I'm sure as any fighter would know, it's a fight with yourself. Mm -hmm. mainly. Forget the other, forget your opponent. It's dealing with, with that emotion and that, you know, and all the things that you, that you feel and, and your confidence and your insecurities and, and all that, but I, I'm used to the, the cameras and the pressure. I'm used to that feeling, but this was something else. This was like, I, I mean, I learned so much about, I mean, also the fact that it's just you in there. Yeah, yeah. There's no one else, you know? And I remember that moment where my trainer, you know, he took my Hong Kong off and he put my mouth guard in and he turned me around and sent me into the ring and I felt like abandonment. Oh no. I looked back and I was like, I hate you. Why would you do this to me? Um, and I realized you can't rely on anyone. You can't rely on your trainers, your corner men, no one. It's you. You're the only one that's in that ring. Um, and yeah, I mean, when I came out, when I went in, I was going, I don't want to do this. I can't, I was going to cancel the fight. They were like, wow. can't, you're in the ring. Yeah. You can't, can't cancel the fight. And then when I came out, the first thing I said, they took out my gum shield. And the first thing I said was, I want to do it again. Wow. Um, and then they were going, you know, okay, relax. Um, and I was going rematch. And they were like, you can't rematch me. You won. Yeah. yeah, you know, yeah. I was so like adrenaline, so much going on. This, 
It was an, an, the, the craziest but most amazing thing I've done in my life and definitely more to come. Any family or friends there? Um, my brother flew in. Yeah, oh, nice. My brother. my brother lives in Hong Kong, so it wasn't too far okay. from him, but he came with his, uh, with his wife and with his baby. Wow. And they came to- What about your parents? How'd they feel about it? Uh, not supportive at all. Okay. Um, to the point where it's created a rift between you or are they it just- It has. Okay. Uh, yeah, it has, especially because my dad is so, he's an academic and he, he's a theoretical physicist and a, and a doctor he's, and he's, yeah, he's like full on and he's always installed in us, you know, education is very important. I love that. I'm so grateful for that. Um, and he's kind of like, why would you get punched? get hit in the head. Yeah, you know, yeah. The scientific proof of what that does to a human. Yeah. You're too smart to, you know, we've put too much into your brain for you to to do anything to it. But, and I completely understand that. I completely respect that as a parent. You, you I mean, you're a parent. Would you really want to watch? No, I yeah, can't exactly. imagine. I yeah. mean, I, I understand that. So, um, but, you know, before it did happen, he did say, I'm not going to watch, um, but I'm proud of you. And he said oh. also, I'm proud of you because you're the first. Okay. I'm the first model fighter. Yeah. I'm the first to do what I what I did. So he was proud. So that's enough. For what me. did your mom say? Um, actually, I don't speak with my mother. Oh, I'm sorry. So that's all right. I'm all sorry. Right. You didn't know. Um, no, no, I didn't. Uh, I just curious how parents, especially from a traditional background, if you will, would right. react to that because I would lose my crap. I mean, I would just flip out if my son or daughter did that. Yeah. Um, I think it's also another thing for, for a daughter. I mean, I don't know. Do you yes, have sons I, have, or I have two, I have two sons and a, and a daughter as well. Okay, so yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. I'm hoping I won't have to feel what your dad felt. Mm. Um, have you talked to him afterwards? Yes. Okay. He was very happy. I'm sure he was. Yeah. He now, was have very, you told him happy. you want to do it again? All, no, no. <laughs> okay. So he also said, well, I hope that's the last of that. Okay. Uh, haven't told him. Okay. That, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I think you've said it in other interviews too that I've read, right? He probably doesn't read that you'd like to do it again. Yeah. He does. He, okay. He's not, he's not Google. He's, he's 72. Not scary. He's not. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, and so how do you celebrate? Like, what do you do to, to I mean, the address, okay, well, before I get to the celebration, right. you win. I win. Via TKO. Via TKO, yes. Second round or third? Third. Third round. Third round, it was a four round fight. Four round fight, were yeah. you happy? There's there's the money shot right there, right? There's the money shot, Look yeah. Look at that. Oh, wow. Hand raised. Look at that, can't wait to do that again. That's my initial, when I see that photo, that's Is that the greatest initial. feeling in the world? Right uh, there, hand I'm, raised? I'm not gonna lie. I at that time, at that exact time, I felt nothing. I didn't feel happiness, joy. I didn't feel that. I was, it was more like confusion and- <laughs> What just happened? Sorting out. Yeah. I mean, the closest thing that I can describe a fight like is a dream. You're not quite sure of what's happening. You're not fully, it's kind of here and there. You, When I- Think back to the fight. I can't tell you exactly what happened. It's you know it was my first yeah. fight. It's yeah. a it's a a lot of emotion, and it's very easy. And I used to do this before. It's very easy to sit on the side and judge a fight. It's very easy to say he should have done. He should have thrown more of those. He should yeah, be yeah. doing this. At the time, you're not thinking. Right. You're reacting. You're you know there's. It's so easy to judge, and I've learned that now, and I will never do that. Um, but. I I was so emotional and dealing with so many emotions throughout the fight that I know that I did not perform to my ability. Oh, you were disappointed. Yes. Wow. I was disappointed with myself. And I, because before I was getting into the ring, because I've seen a lot of people come through, have their first fight and leave. And most of the time they don't do Muay Thai. They just flail their arms yeah. around. They normally don't even do kicks. You just flail, you just attack another person. Sure, sure. It's so emotional, totally understandable. And, uh, all I was telling myself before the fight was, doesn't matter if you win or lose, that is, just do Muay Thai. That's it. Mm. Um, and I'm happy. I did. I did do some Muay Thai. I did. I, you know, I threw kicks. I threw elbow. A lot of elbows. I threw knees. I was blocking. You know, like I was doing some Muay Thai, but I did not do anywhere near to what I could. What I can do, and I felt disappointment. And it, weirdly enough, when my hand was raised, I felt like I just achieved nothing. Wow. And I looked over at my trainer and he was going, smile, be happy. Everyone's yeah. taking pictures, yeah, smile, yeah, yeah. be happy. And I, and at the end, I, I mean, it's on video, it'll come out eventually, but I, I was like, ah, but I, I really felt, and that's why I went and they took out my gum shield and I was like, I want to do it again. Hmm. 
I want to do, redo it, you know? And I can't wait till I get to the to the point, and I've discussed this with, with friends of mine who are fighters, you know, kind of a couple fights in when you do get to fight with a completely clear head, when I can then fully think about, you know, technique and angles and what I'm going to do and, and rather than just emotionally, impulsively flailing my limbs around. <laughs> so what happens when you go to the locker room and like you're, you're feeling this range of emotions? Is it, I mean, I can't imagine. It's, it's the, I mean, I've done some crazy stuff in my life and I've been on, in, you know, in front of cameras and I've done yeah. things and there's nothing like that feeling. Nothing Does it take a while like to that. come down? Yeah. Yeah. And it's a, it, it's just a, an amazing physical journey as well. Like throughout the fight, I didn't feel anything. She was kicking me and punching me. I didn't feel it. Wow. Was she good? She was, this was her, I believe it was her sixth fight. Okay. Yeah. So wow. she, yeah, she'd had a, a more experience than me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and she's Thai. So she's been training a lot longer than me. Um, but I also knew that coming into the fight. So, um, but yeah, it was, it's the craziest, craziest feeling. Even after the fight, you know, you come out and you, and you don't feel the pain. You don't feel anything. And she actually caught me with an elbow in the eye and I had a, a black eye and I had a yeah, little Yeah, I think cut. we have that too. We could show that yeah. as well. We've got it all here. <laughs> you really yes. do. <laughs> um, and only, you know, after the fight, I felt, I then started to, as the adrenaline wears off, you, the pain starts to come in. Okay. And then you start, you know, but yeah, that night, the night of the fight, I didn't sleep much that night. Any serious injuries? No. Okay. No. Thank, Thank God. God. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. In a way, this is this is brilliant because, I mean, if you Google your name, it's all about the model fighter and why you do this and your story. You're getting a lot more attention because of this. So I'm, I'm happy to hear that your agency is behind it because I Thank feel like you. this is a brilliant move on your part. And I know Thank you're not you. doing it for the marketing. Absolutely not. No, I mean, I, this is my hobby. Like yeah, I, but it really does distinguish you from your competition, if you will, the other models. Right. Right. I mean, it does. Uh, it gives you. A, it's a niche. A, yeah, but you it know, and like I said, it's a first. There's a. They've never. There's, there hasn't been a model who's become a fighter before. But um, it gives honestly, you an edge that yeah, the others don't have. Yeah, and for me, it's also like I explained before. It's what it means to me, you know. And it for me, that's a big thing because also, I found my confidence and everything, and I got through a lot of issues with Muay Thai, and I, you know, I was in Thailand for nine months, and then I came back to New York. And that really honestly coupled with having Sports Illustrated behind me who fully supported it, you know, and I did, I, I went first to them and I said, I want to do a fight. Um, and they said, we want to film it. Like, you know, they've smart. always supported me. Um, and, you know, the two things coupled together really gave me the confidence to come back to New York and come back to the, the fashion industry and the modeling world, the entertainment industry and say, I'm not going to conform to your standards anymore. I'm not going to starve myself and be insecure about myself because I'm trying to fit into a size zero pair of jeans. I'm not going to do that anymore. I've found health, confidence, happiness um, through this sport, through everything. And this is who I am. This is the kind of woman that we need in our magazines. This is the kind of role model we need for our kids. I've been that 14 year old girl who's looking through magazines going, why don't like, I look like that? Why am I not that mm -hmm. skinny? Why? No, we, we, something needs to change. Um, so really Muay Thai has done more for me than people know. People look at me and they think she's another model posing in some gloves and you know what I mean? But yeah, yeah. This is really, I'm, a, I'm about that life. Yeah. I'm wow. about that life. I hear people say that. I don't know if I'm about <laughs> any kind of life, but you can actually say that. Do you have apprehension? I see, I, I've seen some photos of you posing like with the gloves and things like that. Do you have apprehension doing that? Because no, is there any because fear? this is authentic for okay. me. And I, I know what's authentic for me. And I do really, I control all my own social media and I try and remain authentic. And I don't, I don't. There we have one. Really, there's shot, right? there's me. <laughs> there you are, in all your glory. Yeah, that's me. It's funny because the guy who shot that actually fights Mai Tai, so he he got it. He got it. Yeah, he got it. It was a good. It was, it was a good shoot. But are you surprised to see the reaction to this story? Um, what's the reaction to this? story? It feels very positive. It feels like you're getting a lot of attention. I mean. I didn't know who you were, but then I saw, wow, model fighting. You know, I subscribed to Sports Illustrated. I have subscribed since uh, I was nine years old. Wow. Swimsuit issue was a very exciting thing always as a, as a youngster, right? Yes. Um, 
But when I heard, oh, sports soldier, swimsuit um, model, fighter, then looking up your your you know your your pictures and your videos, this 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 woman is legit. I mean, so you are now exposing yourself to a whole other audience, right? Yes. I'd love to have models on my show, but there's never a reason. You're on the right. show, so now there's you know there's there's <laughs> there's, there's there's doors opening here. Right. Are you surprised that people are drawn to this story as much as they are? Um, no, I mean, I guess it makes sense. And also it is a first. So people, so, you know, it is getting attention, but, uh, I mean, uh, with the good comes with the bad as well. There are a lot of people. Really? Yeah. What's the bad? People who, people aren't, people reject what they don't know. Right. And, and people have boxes for things. Are you a fighter or are you a model? You can't possibly be both. I'm trying to say I absolutely can be yes, both. Yes, of course. I absolutely can. I can be whatever I want to be. And I think that's a good message about encouraging women to be multidimensional, not alone women, all people. I think that you can be, you want to be an intellect, work in finance, be a model and an athlete, go right ahead. There's nothing stopping you. So um, that's what I stand for. And I'm going to keep going. But a lot of people seem to be very confused. A lot of people are like, really? pick one or the other, you know? That seems like an old guard mentality. Probably. Yeah. Any concerns about if you get like an elbow to the face and there's a big, I mean, it happened. Yeah. But like a cut or a broken nose or something. I mean, Um, that's the moneymaker, right? Listen, that's the number one asked question. Yes, I bet. And I can honestly say that's actually one of my least concerns concerns because I believe in my ability. Yeah. Um, And I wish that everyone would believe in my ability too, but I, I understand that I need to really pay attention to my guard. I understand. You know what I mean? I have yeah. to protect my face. I, I, I believe in my ability to, um, so, you know, I'm much more concerned about fracturing his shin or okay something like that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, after, at the end of round one in my fight, I got caught in the face with an elbow and I see, I kind of thought maybe a little bit naive of me, but I kind of thought it's like an unspoken rule between women that, you know, you listen, don't? we don't want to walk around with a nine inch scar uh, across my face. Let's not throw yeah, I think that was nine elbows eight. like that, you know? And uh, <laughs> yeah. And then at the end of round one, I remember that moment I was against the ropes and I I was like, what the hell was that? And then I went back to my corner. I did, like I said, I didn't feel anything. Didn't feel the yeah, punches, yeah. the kickers. I went back to, I went back to my corner. I was sitting there. I could feel my trainer putting, pressing it and putting Vaseline and I, and I felt it hurting. And I was like, did she cut me? Uh-huh. And they obviously lied to me and they were like, no, you're good. No, there was a tiny, tiny cut there. Okay. But, um, that made me mad. Pissed off. That made me very, very mad. Everyone, I think the world was wondering how I was going to react to getting hit in the face, right? Yeah. And I was curious as well, being hit in the face with that much aggression and with six ounce gloves. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was curious to how I was going to react, but that really made me mad. And I went back into round two and I won round two easily because I, maybe I felt threatened, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Girl needs to pay her rent. You can't elbow me How in dare the face. She? How dare you? Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, a couple of days ago, <laughs> you tweeted something to the effect of who wants to see me fight an MMA? Correct. Are you considering this? Um, yes, absolutely. Okay. Um, so... I am uh, going to start expanding my training. Okay. Um, which I'm very excited about. That's something that I want to do. Bear, giving in mind, for right now, I have a couple of tie fights that I want to do. That okay. For, you know, in the next couple of months, there are a few things that I want to do. Nothing's confirmed yet, but um, there July are July 29th or something you tweeted about? To, you, 28th, yeah, we're working, we're working out. When All there right. is something, you know, solid... I'll let you You'll know. You'll let me know. I'll Thank you. you know. I appreciate that. Uh, you better come watch. Uh, in Thailand. No. Or will you do it here? Amer- American debut, yeah. Oh, wow. I'll be there. Um, That'll be fun. Thanks. Yeah. Um, so, the you know, I've got a couple tie fights that I want to do. Um, in the meantime, really laying down some foundation, some wrestling, some jujitsu. Wow. So you're serious um, about this? Yeah. I mean, mainly, let's not forget... This is fun for me. Yeah, yeah. This is what I want to do. And uh, you know, like I said, I've really fallen in love with with martial arts and I wish I'd done it earlier. And I want to see what you know, what, what else, else is out there. What else is out there exactly? And and uh, you know, I'm lucky to be connected with first round management and, yes, and Malky. Malky and the infamous Malky. I know. And he's, uh, the man. he's so supportive and great and you know, who's 
put me under the guidance of Izzy Martinez and you're going to work with Izzy. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So in Chicago or is he going to come here? Uh, we're working it out right now, but it's holy yeah, smokes. This is a real thing. Guy. Yeah. 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 I'm very lucky. He's amazing. Yeah, they're, yeah. I mean, they're all amazing. They're all great at what they do. So I'm, uh, I'm a lucky girl. I can't wait. Are you going to um, go to Albuquerque with Greg Jackson? I, I know. I, okay. I, no. Let's not get crazy. <laughs> Let's not go right, crazy. Right. First things first, the wrestling. <laughs> Um, wrestling and jujitsu. Who are you going to work jujitsu with? Um, I'll keep you posted. Okay. But okay. this is all kind of just Happening. laying down some groundwork while I work through my next couple months of tie fights. Okay. Um, and then, uh, do you think you want to actually do an MMA fight as well? I mean, knowing me, yeah. I don't just train and yeah, then not, fun, yeah. Right. I mean, knowing me, I'll, I'll, I will get there down the line, but I'm not trying to rush anything. I'm going at my own pace, what I feel comfortable doing. Um, Bellator has probably just called your phone. They, uh, <laughs> if, if it's, uh, <laughs> what, what weight class would you like? What, uh, probably what was, 135. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. We've got openings. Yeah. <laughs> not me specifically, but the sport. Um, well, yeah. that's very exciting, but you haven't actually done it yet. Uh, the wrestling, the jujitsu. No, 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 no. Okay. We're not. We're. I mean, I just came back from Thailand. I just kind of recovered. I'm. I'm now be, got my model hat on. Okay. Uh, working, like I said, working towards my next Thai fights, and and in the in the meantime, here and there, throw in some wrestling, some jujitsu, and wow. Yeah. Um, are you an MMA fan? I am, but you know what? What? Fun fact. Okay. I wasn't always an MMA fan. And and what changed? Um. So I, I uh, probably up and I was, I'm only a recent MMA fan. I okay. would say the last. We were going to kick you out of the studio if you yeah, said just, you. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had to, I had to bring it back right, really right. quickly. Um, probably the last year and a half. That's it. Two year, year and a half, two years. Okay. Um, initially I had an issue with the whole hitting a man when he's down mm -hmm. thing, but that was more ignorance because I didn't know about jujitsu i didn't know about you know the the art of yeah yeah and ground um, fighting ground all fighting that stuff, exactly yeah. so really it just was a matter of me expanding my horizons and, okay and yeah but like i said now i'm interested and for me i mean even in the clinch in muay thai it's a whole other chess game you know and I, it fascinates me and i can't wait to start jujitsu and i can't wait to kind of get into that it's a it's a whole other thing requires a whole bunch of other muscles that but yeah, very exciting. You went to UFC 208 in Brooklyn. I did, yeah. yeah. Did you? I was well, yeah, I was covering it. Oh, she as said a journalist. I. Well, I didn't know you were there. I saw on your Instagram though. Oh yeah, after the fact, I was there. You Correct. were there, and and why did you go? Because uh, I wanted to go. Okay. Yeah. Just for just for fun. Just for yeah. Okay. For and you live in the New York area. In, there's a UFC in in New York. Yeah. Amazing. Was that your first live event? You, for UFC, yeah, 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 that okay. was. What'd and you it think? was great. Yeah, you it enjoyed awesome. it? It was kind of a lackluster card though. Yes. Okay. Yes. I thought that it Don't was- Don't judge us on that card. Yes. Okay. So, but it was, but I had a great time and I loved the audience. Okay. They're very Interesting. like- kick him yeah. in the face. You like, like that. Some yeah. people don't like that. No, I, I thought it was great. I didn't okay. expect it. Was there any fighter in particular that you saw and you were like, wow, this blow? I mean, you saw- Anderson Silva, okay. hello. But it wasn't that a great was... fight. I mean, no, I actually thought he still... lost the fight. Really? I thought he lost, yeah. I mean, I th I, it's just great to see the guy. I mean, for me- Sure, it's... yeah. I mean, arguably the greatest. Yeah. And then you had the female fights, right? The the main Correct. event, Holly yeah. Holm, Jermaine Durant, me. Yeah. Um, some controversy, punches after the bell. You remember that? It was yes, all kinds of craziness. I remember, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, it was like mild craziness. But, yeah, fair. You know, uh, yeah. So, so you you took a you took a picture. Kate, you you had good seats. I had great seats. How did you Thank get such you, good UFC. seats? Thank you, UFC. Oh, they hooked you Thank up. Thank you, Sports Illustrated. Okay, yeah, that's how I it happened. Great, Who'd yeah. you go with? Um, I went with my great friend Taylor. Hi, Taylor, who actually works at Sports Illustrated. Okay. Swimsuit. Yeah. Is she actually so, watching now? Probably not. She's okay, probably at work. Enough. Yeah. Uh, well, we get a lot of people who watch at work. I um, bet you do. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> and so what, what, why I, I, I zeroed in I on the picture. Why. I know why. You were rocking Are you going to pull it up? Uh, actually, I don't know if I told them to pull this one up. I screwed up. I should have told them. You were rocking a Dylan Danis shirt. I was rocking and I was a Dylan like, Danis shirt. Holy smoke. Dylan Danis. <laughs> This freaking guy, not only does he hang with Connor, not only is he one of the best jujitsu practitioners in the world, he's got a freaking supermodel wearing his shirt, just his shirt. <laughs> just a, sh a shirt yeah, with, with his, his face, face on, it. on it. Not even like, it wasn't even like a, you know, it's like you, a thing. It's just, it's just I just a, had a shirt. Did you Dylan get that? Was that like face? a thing that people can buy or did you make it? No, I didn't. 
That would be kind of crazy. I know, if I, but uh, if like, I'd gotten a shirt, with I didn't Dylan, know that Dylan Danis has Dylan's shirts. Face. No, I bought it. You could buy Dylan Danis shirts like that. Um, Apparently, yeah. At, at the time, there was a there was only a certain Limited. number, and I, I wanted to support. And I, I'm a fan. Yeah, I'm a Dylan so, Danis so fan. So are you? Because I asked him about you. You and, did. Yes. I love when you ask questions yes. that you know no, the I don't, answers to. I don't know. First of all, we you, just met. So how uh -huh. do you know, like you can't generalize that I do this. <laughs> but people have said that about me before. So very astute it's on fun. your part. Um, I don't know anything. I asked him a question. I said, there was a model, Mia Kang, wearing your shirt at UFC 2A. What's going on there? What's the story? And he sort of implied that you guys were an item. Did he? Did He did. <laughs> kind of, well, I don't know. He gave some he was really being like. Coy. He was, yeah. He was being Dylan Dennis. Life's good. Yeah. You know, and his life he's is the, good. Like you said, he's hanging out with Connor. He's, yeah, like he's a, the man. one of the best jujitsu practitioners in the world. Um, do you have a Are, specific question? Well, no, the, you, <laughs> well, yeah, the question is, is that true? Uh, no, oh, it's not true. Come on. Um, it's not true. Listen, d me and Dylan Dennis are great friends. Okay. Um, and I, I really, I admire the guy and no matter what people say about the things that he says or about his personality or his attitude, nobody can deny that the man is an animal. Mm -hmm. He's so great at what he does. And honestly, throughout my fight, coming up to my fight and through my fight, he was an amazing support system, uh, motivation for me. He's a great guy, really great guy. So, Have you ever trained with him? No, I'd like to. Yeah, well, you have an opening in the jiu-jitsu front, right? You said you don't have a coach. Yeah, I'd like to. I mean, I'd love to, to, to bring him on as my... My train. I'd love to. That would be fantastic. But, you know, he's really busy taking over the the jujitsu world, and you know he's got to train his MMA for his. He signed Bellator with Bellator, day. yeah. Yeah, so he's kind of busy. Right. But uh. But I feel like he can squeeze you in a little bit. To, I mean, I've even I've asked him even just for one. He said no. Just for like an initial. I have a hard time believing this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he yeah he said no. So he said he, no. I know yeah. That, why he wanted to charge you or overcharge no, he's, you? He's really busy, kind of dominating the fight world, but. Okay. Um, he's a bit of a lightning rod these days, you know? What does that mean? Well, uh, when he signed with Bellator, he said that he was the highest paid fighter in the organization. And a lot of people yes. in the organization took umbrage with that comment. A lot of right. the fighters were upset that he said that. Um, right. I think a lot of fans think that he acts like Connor, you know, with some of his social media. So he's a lightning rod. I enjoy him. I think he's great. I enjoy him. I think he's great too. I think his whole demeanor is fantastic. I you probably need great. that more in grappling. I know he lost his last fight, but you know, these things happen. People lose fights or yeah, I mean, it, yeah, Absolutely. It yeah. happens. It completely happens. And, um, I don't think that holds any kind of testament to what, how much of an amazing fighter he is. Um, but you're right. I think that, and I also think that he's doing great things for the sport and yeah. he's shining a lot of light on the sport. And that's also what I hope to do from, for Thai boxing. You know, at the end of the day, the dude loves his sport. Yeah. He's great at it. Um, I think that I personally don't think he's just because someone's a little mouthy doesn't mean they're like Conor McGregor. Sure, you sure. You know what I mean? Do you enjoy Conor? But I uh, such a big fan. Yeah. Such Is he your favorite fan. MMA fighter? Would that be? Him and Anderson Silva, I'd say. Okay, interesting. Yeah. I can understand the Anderson appreciation because of his background. Well, I mean, I, I admire Conor so much in uh, as for everything he's done sure, in terms sure. of the business that he's done, how he's foreseen things and how he's made them happen and and... I think he what he's done is so smart. Mm -hmm. I think he just as a as a whole, all encompassing. I really it, it's very admirable. If he fights Floyd Mayweather, are you interested in that? Correct. Yes. You are. Yes. You will you try to go to the fight? I'd love to. Yeah. Maybe I'll September, try. October. They're, they're is that what they're, they're saying? close. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's what you know the insiders say. Yeah, I'd love to go. It would probably be in Vegas though, not here. I'm I'm there. You're there. I'm still there. I feel I'm like Sports Illustrated could there. hook you up. I feel like they could, yeah. Now, Bellator's going to MSG in June. Are you going to go to that? Their debut. Do you know the date? June 24th. Maybe. Okay. Well, Maybe. I'm around. Um, what do we have as far as modeling next for you? Like, I, I'm always curious. My wife works in the jewelry business. Maybe yeah. she's got great stuff. Sachs, Bergdorf. I mean, wow. real deal stuff. We're not talking like little beads that she does in her in her like basement. fine jewelry? Fine jewelry, wow. yeah. Anzi is the name of the company. Amazing. I can send it to you. Um but as far as like big gigs, we have anything big on the horizon? Italy, Milan, um, something big, Vogue. I know you're featured in Vogue recently. I was, yeah. I'm just running down the resume here. Um, a couple things lined up. I, I don't want to jinx, jinx them. It, okay. and, 
you know, it's a very last minute world where things are confirmed a couple days before and it's, okay. it's not, yeah, it's very, it's a very last minute industry. So were there, um, fellow models or casting agents or whatever who were kind of mean to you and then they found out that you were a fighter and now they're super nice to you? <laughs> no, okay. not unfortunately, no. I feel like now no one's going to piss you off or try to mess with you. <laughs> you don't get uh, that? No, oh, I okay. don't know. Wow, that's surprising. Um, I do find it's a, it's very it's intimidating with a lot of guys. Like they feel guys threatened are by the fact. Yeah, they're I never understood that. By it. But but yeah, that's the only thing that I okay. do feel. Like when you meet someone and you tell them that that's what you do for Yeah, a lot of guys like so you could kick my ass right now. Yeah. Like, you know, they're really And what? They run away? I just think they're they're kind of intimidated, which is I think the weak ones are like sure. Like that. I feel like that exposes something about them right off the bat. Yeah, I think it would be awesome if my wife fought. Yeah, you've never tried to get her into. No, I don't shoes. feel like I need to push her to do that. But yeah. if she wanted to, I would certainly. <laughs> so I'd like having her around and healthy and stuff. So right, uh, yeah. I wouldn't push her to do that. Okay, so as far as like the sport, to me, Sports Illustrated would be you know uh, for someone in 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 your position like kind of the holy grail right right now. I mean, yes. you get. I mean, that's like an iconic yeah. establishment in just to be a part of that is an incredible, really incredible. It's an institution. Yes. I mean, everyone knows about that. You were part of like a um, a contest, right? Yeah. And so you in, won. in 2015, okay. uh, it's, it was a 2016 issue. Um, they had, they, I mean, every year they have a model search contest where they, yeah. you know, they cast around the United States and then they pick six girls. Rookies, if you will. Uh, five, no, five or six girls who compete and the winner oh. then becomes a rookie. Oh, wow. Um, I didn't realize it was so, that. Yeah. So I was in it and then I won it. And then and this year is how do you win it? Is, is it a rookie. vote? It's, yeah. It's a worldwide vote. Okay. Yeah. This past issue was your... Rookie. My rookie debut. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, the feeling of winning that compared to the feeling of winning a fight, which is greater? Can you even compare? Uh, yes, you can compare. The winning that competition was a lot more of a shock to me because also because I'm a minority. First of all, I was new in the States, okay. new on social media. You know what I mean? I didn't have a fan base and I'm a minority. I, d I technically should lose Oh. That vote. Given all this stats, sure, I, sure. I should have lost. Okay. But I won and I won by a mile. So that wow. was really, I didn't expect it at all. I really truly believed I was going to lose that. Okay. Um, whereas I walked into this fight believing that I was going to win it. Interesting. Yeah. So then when you won, it's a different feeling because you were expecting as opposed to the unexpected, you're almost right. shocked. Okay. Right. What do you enjoy more right now? If I said to you, you can make the same amount of money fighting that you do in modeling, would you rather devote your life to fighting? I mean, when, when, if it's the rest of my life. Right now. Yeah, I would choose fighting. Really? Wow. You enjoy it that much. How often do you get to and train? And also I, ha I have modeled for 15 years. Sure, so. sure. This is kind of new, exciting, yeah. different. Do you yeah. get to train every day? Yeah. Okay. Six days a week. Yeah. Did you train today? This morning, yeah. You did? Yeah. How'd it go? Great. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> that is exciting. So, what's the next step? So, now we're talking to promoters, getting the fight. What's the next step yeah, as far as uh, number two? Uh, That's a foregone conclusion, right? You will fight again. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Um, we're doing the negotiations at the moment for my U.S. debut. Uh, debut. Does Malky do that? Yes, Malky's doing that. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I feel like promoters are coming out of the woodwork here. Uh, yeah, there's been a lot of um, phone calls and reaching out in some form or another. Okay. Um, but it's fun because Malky and First Round Management have never, they do not represent women. I know. I am the first. I was surprised when he told me. Yeah. Um, so I'm happy. We're just <laughs> breaking boundaries all over the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? uh, which I like. And uh, yeah, it's nice to, to kind of break the stereotype sure. as well. And, um, you know, I don't think that the the sport has seen anything like me before. And um, again, like I said, a lot of people hate. A lot of people are like, "Look, but look at her. She can't." You know what I sure, mean? Sure, sure. Um, and it's funny because I read on some on the tweets that whatever tweets that yeah, we yeah. were doing, and someone wrote, wrote like, "Oh, she's gonna get broke like a twig. They don't have a ninety pound division or something." Mm -hmm. And I was like, "That's so funny because yeah. I'm five foot ten and like one hundred and fifty pounds." Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, um. 
I, uh, anyway, I like, I, I think I like what I'm doing. I yeah, think it's cool. Great. I think breaking boundaries and, and stereotypes and let's see what happens. When's the SI documentary coming out? Should be fall. Okay. I don't have a specific Is it a long one or is it kind of like a mini? It's a long. Really? Yeah, it's like a the full, whole journey. They followed me through training in New York. Wow. They, they came out to Thailand. They followed me through training in Thailand, followed me through fight week. Uh, and film the fight and yeah it's it's i have no idea what it looks like mm -hmm. but it should be great good on them for doing that i mean it's their two worlds colliding yeah like it's the never first time they've before, ever had right? sports and model come together that's so. right and as far as female fighters do you look up to any of them is, is is there anyone that you admire you know i mean obviously there's a, there's like a lot of great fighters but there's actually Nobody at the moment that I would say like okay, yeah. Ronda Rousey was in SI as well. She was, yeah. She, she was, was on the cover. Of my oh, that's my right. model search. She, she was that's on the right. cover, that's and right. actually, she was at the time. She was in the she room was, with me and oh, stuff, really? and like, yeah, she was. She Did you was talk there. to her? No. Okay. She's busy. She's busy. Yeah, she's busy. Come on. You know. Yeah. Um. But yeah, that's pretty great. I thought that was great. But now she's kind of gone away. Yeah. You followed that, right? Make way. Okay. No, wow. <laughs> Them's fighting words. I like it. That's great. Mia Kang just called out Ronda Rousey. No, I didn't. No, I know, Don't I know, you I know, take I know, it up. I know. I know. Like... I'm just kidding. That's what other people will do. That's what other people will do. Well, this has been a lot of fun. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for yeah. having me. No, no. This was great. When uh, when Malky called me and, and said, are you interested in talking? I was like, wait a second. The model? The one that I've seen? Dylan Danis? I just talked about you. The one the... that you talked about me? Yes. You, yeah, Were you, you upset really... when I brought you up? No. Were you annoyed? Okay. Well, I, just... I was like, wow, you know who I am. Yeah, of course. Um. I do and my then, research. But I, I'm not going to lie. I didn't, I wasn't, and he can tell you that. He, okay. He, I was like, I called him afterwards and I was like, why did you say that? Like, <laughs> I thought it made me come across as like no. a little, you know. A side uh, piece, if you yeah, will. A, a right. side piece, <laughs> yeah. if you will. What the um, kids call it, yes. <laughs> but. So you were mad at him? Did I create I a rift? I wasn't mad. Okay. But because I, I understand the, and I think I, the, of the the Dylan Dennis and sure. you know, but I wasn't mad, but I just thought that I just came across a little. So I'm glad I got to come here and, and actually clear the air, clear this the air, you know, and show you that I'm not well, he, somewhat of a side sure. piece kind of thing. How dare you know? he? <laughs> it's it's funny because I didn't know you were obviously going to come when I asked him about it, but it was almost like foreshadowing. Like we actually had a thing that happened within you had like the sure. Pre, yeah, pre -limb kind of thing, is, and then yeah, that's yeah, right. There you go. Little phrase. <laughs> um, but no, this was great. I, I appreciate you coming in, um, knowing that you're in New York and uh, very busy. It means a lot that you would come in. I wish you the best. First Thank off, you. congratulations on doing it. Thank you very much. I know much. a lot of people dream about these things, but don't have the, you know, the courage to do it. And your story is great. And I urge anyone to look you up and read more about your story and, you know, just what you've been through and overcome. No, it's really, it's really an inspiring thing, especially for young, for young women. And I view, I mean, I just had a girl six months ago, so I view women completely different. Not to say that I didn't, it's just different. I can't even put into words. Like when I, like this is a girl and this is, you know what I mean? I just, yeah. I have a whole other appreciation for strong women and what, you know. Um, and the things that we go through. Yeah, and yeah, honestly, yeah. I'll, I'll tell you that today it's hard to be a woman and mm -hmm. the, the pressures that we're under uh, in, you know, from whatever angles, from men, from the media, from society, it's tough to be a woman these days. And raising a woman, I'm sure as you will find out, is you know, it's hard. So we do need strong role models out there and, and, you know, it's, people need to share their stories and we need to, to, I hope people can, can find something that they relate yeah. to in what I'm in. Absolutely. You know, well said. Um, so congratulations, good luck in the upcoming fight. Keep us posted. Thank you. I, on I when will. Number two I happens. expect to see you there. I will try my best <laughs> and uh, hopefully maybe we'll see you at Bellator. Yeah. At the Garden. Yeah. June 24th. Fedor Emelianenko, arguably the other greatest of all time, is fighting. Okay. It's their best card ever. Oh, wow. Okay. Like, without a doubt. Um, Chael Sonnen, put it in. I'm sure they'll hook you up. Okay. Um, so there she is, Mia Kang. Congratulations to her. You can check her out on, uh, on Twitter, all that stuff. We put out all her social media. All the best. We will take a quick break. We will say goodbye to Mia. We'll continue our conversation with one Conor McGregor. And I do believe Tony Ferguson, late edition, is going to join us in a matter of seconds. Um, here's Malki Kawa texting me. <laughs> He's very, uh, <laughs> tell her my phone is blowing up. Wait, what up. did okay. Dylan Dynas text you? You didn't tell Oh, me. you want to know? Um, 
You were like, I'll tell you. Yeah, he he basically said, well, Malky wanted you to know that his phone is blowing up as the interview is happening. But, so that's a good sign. Okay, that's um, great. I'll take 2% of whatever <laughs> comes of this. He said, ask her the same tough questions you asked me. That's Dylan. Last night Oh, he so basically he wanted you to ask me, are we dating? Yes. And he wanted to see what I was saying. A little what game a here. smart guy. Yes. Yeah. You gotta give him props. And though. I said, I will. And I think I did. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you seemed hesitant. Yeah. Okay. No, it's fine. We're Do you want to say on. something else? See you guys next uh, okay. time. <laughs> there she is, Mia Kang.